Last episode, we met Perigodontium album, a marine fungus that slowly digests sunbaked polyethylene. But what about plastics that don't float, don't sunbathe, and don't oxidize nicely under UV? For that, we need a different kind of microbe. This time, it's not a fungus. Bacillus is a genus of bacteria found just about everywhere. Soil, water, marine sediments, even industrial waste. Some species are specialists in biodegradation. They form biofilms, produce biosurfactants, and release enzymes that go after plastics others ignore. Unlike P. album, which favors oxidized polyethylene, Bacillus strains have shown the ability to attack polypropylene and even PVC, two of the more chemically stubborn plastics. These materials are more crystalline, more hydrophobic, and often loaded with additives. Just like polyethylene, they are built from long carbon chains that make them biologically inert unless first modified by heat or UV. Oxidation is still the gateway, so yes, Bacillus also benefits from pretreated plastics, especially when UV or thermal stress has introduced reactive sites. In one 2021 study, Bacillus serious degraded polypropylene microplastics with a mass loss of up to 4% in 40 days. Another experiment in 2020 showed that Bacillus flexus reduced PVC film mass by 0.26% over 90 days with clear structural changes detected using infrared spectroscopy, a technique that reveals chemical damage inside the plastic. The bacteria secrete a mix of extracellular enzymes, including esterases and oxidases, that can cleave polymer chains or target additives. Their biosurfactants improve surface contact, allowing better colonization Unlike fungi, they don't need stable surfaces or strong oxygen flow, just a foothold and access to carbon. The result isn't always full mineralization, but partial degradation is still a win. That 4% loss of PP in 40 days? Extrapolated, that could mean over 30% per year, reducing 99% of the plastic's mass in just 12 years, assuming ideal conditions. PVC is more stubborn. At 0.26% loss in 90 days, you'd need over 400 years to reach 99% reduction. But that's still proof of biochemical activity. Carbonyl groups form, the material weakens, and the plastic begins to break down. Bacillus works where fungi can't, in darker, deeper, and more variable conditions. Is Bacillus strictly marine? Not at all. These bacteria operate in both marine and terrestrial environments, from beach sand to agricultural soil to industrial effluent. They are among the most versatile plastic degraders found to date. Bacillus needs oxygen, but not ongoing light. Once the plastic has been oxidized, even by past UV or heat exposure, it can keep working in the dark. It performs well in sediments, on sunken plastic, and alongside other microbes. It's not a solo hero, but part of a growing cast of microbial decomposers. Not all plastic eaters are slow-moving fungi. Some are fast, adaptable bacteria chewing through polymers from the shadows. Next up, Pseudomonas and its appetite for synthetic polymers, 